Okay, good morning. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your Facebook um, author page. Okay, so from your home page, you can, for this is obviously from the um, computer, it'll look a, bit, a little bit different from your phone. I would suggest you do it from your computer, but you're going to come down here to manage pages. So you click on this little arrow um, carrot down here, manage pages. Now you'll either have pages that you're looking at or you can click on create a page. You're going to decide whether you're a business or brand or community or public figure. So if you are branding under your business, then you're going to go with the business. Business. If you're branding as an author, you're going to go here. So name your page. I recommend you name it your author name, not your book name because hopefully you're going to be doing more books. And then type in author and hit continue. Then it'll just walk you through the different steps that you need to take in order to do this. So first we're going to upload a profile picture. Put that right here. You can either add a cover picture or skip that for now. I'm going to skip it for now because my designer is putting together a an image for us. Um, you'll want to make sure that you have a cover photo that is the right size so that it looks good here. And voila, you have the basics of your page. Then Facebook is going to walk you through all of this kind of stuff. Now what you want to do is you want to try and set up some things so that um, when somebody comes to your page, it's not blank. So you can do, you can look through their um, page tips through here. It'll show you all kinds of page tips and give you ideas there. Or you can go up here to the settings and start um, filling in page information. If you're going to have other people supporting you, like if you have um, a, a team member who is going to be with you on this. You can choose what they are, the admin, editor, all those kinds of stuff. You have to type in your, um, oh my goodness, I hope I can remember my password. Nope. Try that one more time. Oh, maybe it's got to save for me. Phew. <laughs> Okay, um, if you're going to have, you know, team members on here with you, you can add them. Um, you can start doing other things. Setting up the general page will let you know what's happening here. Um, these are, most of these are set to defaults and the defaults are okay. If you're going to be sharing through Instagram, you can um, do that. You can set up people in other pages that are similar, um, people who like this page. So you can say, here's where you can see people and other pages that like. So if anybody else likes it, you can see it there. Um, all kinds of different things. Publishing tools. This is where you're going to go in and you can create posts. Like if you're going to have somebody scheduling posts, you go into here and you can create a post that says, Thank you for visiting my page. Please check out my website at supportaloved1.com. Boom. And share. You can either share or you can schedule. You can see the here down there's a carrot. You can share that or schedule it. And in here you can always come in and see who um, the insights behind your post or people are, how many people have been reached, what people are doing. Okay, but for in here you're going to want to um, when you get started. I don't recommend you you start inviting people until you have added your cover and put a few things up in here. You can add a button, like if you want people to um, sign up for your newsletter or um, something of that lines, you can go to the about page and edit the information, which I suggest you do here. You can set up your username here. It's usual. Oh, this page isn't eligible to have a username. I think you have to um, have a certain amount of um, likes before you can set that part up.
but you can edit all of your information here. Let's enter the website. And anything else that you want to enter in here so that people can go to your about page and learn more about you. So that's, that's it. You can create, you can create a story up here so that when people come to your page, they see, um, let me show you on another page. Some of this stuff is already done. See, this is what it's going to look like. You'll have your cover image with your book on there. We've got all kinds of different things, community information, um, our story. We've added a picture here and we talk about what Lose the Cape is and, um, and what we're doing with it and all those kinds of things. Sign up. You're going to um, sign up for the newsletter. If you click to sign up here, you can do all kinds of cool stuff on it. So that is what is happening with your author page and how you easily set it up. And then you'll want to start scheduling some posts, get your cover up here, which it's really easy to change or add a cover. You literally click on the button and upload your picture. Um, that you have formatted to fit on a Facebook page, which I use our graphic designer to do that, but you can go onto Canva and, um, and they have sizes that are appropriate for, for their, um, for, for the Facebook cover page as well. Create that, upload it, and then you can start inviting people and you'll have seen on the other page that it asked, um, the, the easiest thing to do is just start inviting people that you already know. So it will pull up, um, your friends and family and you can start just inviting them easily by clicking invite next to their name uh, whenever it pulls that up. It's being slow right now. So I will finish out this page and she'll be good to go to start inviting people and talking about what she's got going on with her business and her world and her book and getting ready for her book launch.